Hi, I'm Clemens. I'm Jürgen. And today we want to show you how it's possible to measure the radar sensor through a glass window. And what is the advantage if you use our new 80 gigahertz radar sensor for liquids, the Vega Pulse 64? Microwaves can penetrate non-conductive materials like glass. So it's possible to measure from outside of a vessel. In this application, we have a glass window and we measure at the moment the top of this room. So we get a nice signal from the top of the room, but also a disturbance from the glass window. And not only disturbance from the window itself, we also get multiple reflections. On, on this side, we have the Vega Pulse 64. So we have mounted it the same way. We're measuring up to the roof and we measure through this glass. And if you look on the echo curve, you see the reflection from the glass, but there are no multiple reflections. So there are no fault signals in the near range. You have only the product echo in the back. So here you can measure through the total way up to the glass. A very good solution is to mount the glass window in an angle. So if you angle this window, the reflection from the glass is going on the side and it's not coming back to the receiver of the sensor, but the main energy is going through, so it's much easier to measure the surface of the product. On the screen you can see there is nearly no reflection from the near range and a very nice signal from the product. But of course we need an angle of approximately 45 degrees. The same trick you can also use with the 80 gigahertz. So you can angle the glass and then you get rid of this false reflection from the glass and you have only the reflection from the product. The advantage of 80 gigahertz is that you don't have to angle it 30 or 45 degrees, that you have to angle it only 5 to 10 degrees or more. So that's more easy in a normal application to do it like this with the new sensor. What is also coming is condensate. So in, if you have an application like this, if you get condensate on the window, we have a look on the echo curve, we see that there is no influence on the echo curve, so the sensor can also measure through the glass, even if there is condensate on the top of the glass. With this small process connection of the Vega Pulse 64, our 80 GHz radar, it's possible to mount the sensor also on these small glass bottles. So the Vega Pulse 64 is mounted on the top. It's a battery-powered instrument. And then we have a Bluetooth connection to this tablet here. And on the tablet, you can see the measurement value. So at the moment, we have about two liters inside of this tank. But especially if you have toxic materials, it's much better to keep the bottle closed and measure direct to the glass. So even here, it's possible to measure the level inside of the glass bottle. And if you change the level, the display will follow immediately. So we change of approximately half a liter of this liquid. So you see the Vega Pulse 64 is perfect for small tanks measuring through glass as well as for big tanks and measuring to the side glasses.